the Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary in Belize, a jaguar paradise, especially set aside for this largest cat of the Americas. Managed by the Belize Audubon Society, we have been privileged to work together with them, studying one of the best known jaguar populations in the world. Our extensive camera trap database spans 20 years, allowing us to follow individuals through their lifetime. I previously told the story of the life of Ben the Jaguar, from the moment he entered the basin in 2011, roaming and dominating the East Basin of the Sanctuary until 2019. I now want to tell the story of another Jaguar individual that recently caught our attention again. She can be considered even more important for the sanctuary than Ben, and her story might almost be at an end. This story concerns the old matriarch of East Basin. In our record she is F119. Similar to Ben, it means she was first detected as a young adult in 2011. However, her first and only detection in this year showed her with a cup following her. We rarely get cups on our cameras, so she entered our records in a good way. Male ranges are considerably larger than female ranges. Dominant males want to maximize access to females, while females are mainly concerned with having sufficient prey to feed their offspring. Female jaguars raise cubs on their own. The male offspring disperses far away from their birthplace, while females stay close and sometimes take over part of their mother's range. Males, such as Ben, usually move into an area from far away and walk the trails far and wide to see if they can become the dominant male. This means males get detected very frequently on cameras, while females are photographed rarely. Staying away from the trails where these much larger dominant males frequently patrol. Males can be a danger to their cubs if he is unfamiliar with a female. They therefore prefer to stay off the trail and only enter it when looking for a mate or if they are just quickly moving through. F119 was no exception and our trapping records are very sparse compared to that of a dominant male like Ben. It is however likely that F119 was born close to the location where she was first captured. For Coxcomb Basin insiders, this would be at the end of the worry loop. For the remainder of her life, up to this day, she has always been consistently photographed in this relatively small area, between the gate of the sanctuary, the visitor center, up to 7 kilometers on the Victoria Peak Trail. After the initial detection in 2011 and another single detection at the gate in 2012, F119 got herself noted again with this very good picture in 2013, showing off her ability to hunt armadillo. Later in the year in 2013 she was photographed regularly along the main trail within her home range area at the end of the worry loop, and likely she was looking for a mate. In 2014 we detected her again with cubs around the gate. She seems to be pacing up and down, assuring that the bubbling, vulnerable cubs follow her. In the following year she was seen with cubs on a regular basis, with this juvenile female in 2015 and a young male in 2016. The young male is full of energy and just wants to play. These might have actually been the offspring of the dominant male Ben, as she was detected with him in 2015, and male jaguars only meet female jaguars for one reason. Over the following years, she maintained her home range around the trail area near the visitor center. Several younger females settled in this area, and there's a high likelihood that some of these are her daughters. The young male, shown previously, is now actually an established male at the other end of the sanctuary in the West Basin, around the Salesi Puede area. However, similar to Ben, she is an old lady now, and will likely start having difficulty with hunting. 
In recent months, people have been seeing her on the trail system, calm and quite approachable. But she looks skinny and does not seem to walk very well. As this video, shared by tour guide Axel Jimenez, shows clearly. As she will likely not last very long in the wild, looking vulnerable and old, I just want to take this opportunity to highlight the life story of this old lady in her twilight years, a true matriarch of the Coxcomb Basin in her final days.